Arch, quick question. I always wondered, when the show started, was it originally just a Latin? Because the first group was you, Angie, and, and uh, Billy. 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 Was there any thought of having both Latin and modern group? Or was it just, it just a group? There was a modern uh, group then, like uh, with Benny Ramos. I remember, yeah. Benny, yeah, he he was with us in the beginning for the first few months. So you had that concept of modern and Latin from the very beginning. We, we needed that. We needed the Latin and the modern. That was my concept. So this is another thing where you're you're you know way ahead of your time. <laughs> you know, thinking ahead, like most people have said, let's just do this that we're good at. But you had the vision to say, no, yeah. I want a modern and a Latin group. We, because we at that time, to. coming from dance time with Chito, just morally, mostly Latin inspired. Latin. We wanted to hit it across all all all, all yeah. the brands. We wanted because we uh, we were such a well talked about show. So my thought, and when I was talking to Freddy Garcia about it, was that we try to reach out to everyone. It was yeah. dancing is universal. That's right. Six year old to sixty years old, love to dance. Reach out to them. And actually, the idea of a party was that your idea? Because to put the audience behind, in front of the camera, was a genius. I did. That that was my idea when we were talking about the program in the seventies. I told Freddy, I said, my idea is that it's, the party every Sunday uh, will be on the penthouse where I'm supposed to be, uh, you know, living yeah. and uh, hosting. And uh, welcoming guests. So, as a matter of fact, the beginning of our OBB was we had a car. <coughs> oh yeah. Car, and then, then segue to the elevator going up to number seven. And then oh, the, do- wow, the door. I don't even remember that, but you're right. Opening, and then we sold to. I remember. I remember that and I remember the song. It's just uh, Pacific Coast Highway. The yeah. song Bert Bacharach. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I remember. That was genius. So, uh, talk show, uh, dancing and singing. Cut across all And putting all the ages. audience in front of the camera made people want to come to the show to be seen. That's right. Putting the guests and audience in front of the camera. That was genius for me. Uh, that was a concept that I thought of, and it worked. Thank yeah. God, it did. It worked. We earlier we talked about filling it. Uh, I was waiting for an opportunity to dance Latin, and then there was one rehearsal where the Latin. I was practicing with Didi and Rosie, and then next thing I know, I get to do Latin and make an extra thirty-seven bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> Never Don't forget that. It's full tank. <laughs> with the receipt. <laughs> with the receipt. Hey, Arch, another quick question. Was it ever strategic by GMA to choose certain people to be part of the dancers? I remember Raul Monasterio was there in the beginning. They left the uh, the players or the actors or the performers to me. Oh, uh, they told me, uh, it's your show. Uh, you call the shots, and if we think it's not working, then we'll tell you. If we're quiet, that means you're okay. That was how we I, conducted ourselves mm-hmm. with uh, Christian Fande, myself, and uh, Freddy Garcia. Remember our producers, June Roy? Yeah. 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 His son is his son is a subscriber. Yeah, his son Sorry. follows yeah, us, Arch. I remember June Roy. That's a nice what guy. What a nice guy. guy. Archie, I have one question. At any time during the six years or seven year, six year run, we all, all of us, at least me, I felt there was never any problem. The show was going to go on forever. Was there any time before that the show was in jeopardy that you had to save it or never? It was oh. always okay the whole time. I made a political statement that spelled my doom, but that spelled my, the end of my thing on that show. But uh, I did it because it was my personal conviction and nobody's going to put a muzzle on my mouth. So I said it. But nothing, nothing. Ratings was always strong the whole time from day one. Ratings was always strong. I think it got better. It it got better with time, right, Arch? Because we started out as an hour show and then it it just kept expanding. An hour and a half, then two hours. Yeah, two and a half hours. Do you think 
Arch, do you think uh, martial law and uh, curfew had some effect on the show? Because the, I know for the discos, mm. remember, we, we would all go they, late yeah. and then stay they, yeah. all night and then come home and dancing became really a part of the Filipino culture. You think martial law had an effect on our show? It, it, yeah, well, yeah, uh, because nobody could, on Sunday nights, they had to stay home. Yeah. If you stay home, you only had one, uh, three choices. Joe Quirino, uh, Penthouse 7, and uh, Channel 4. And Dan Yeah. So, so, so Joe had a fair share because he was also a, uh, he was an okay guy. I liked him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh stars. So, so it, but it was a choice between Penthouse 7 and seeing stars. So more or less, tell me what TV show you're watching on Sunday and I'll tell you who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and and weren't, weren't we after Million Dollar Movies? You know, we had, a, we had a very good lead in early yeah. on. We had Three's Company, Donnie yeah. and Marie. Yeah. You know, we had a really good lead into our show. I know in school, uh, guys, um, you know, I was the youngest, diba? I was 13 years old. So oh, Remind us, younger. pa. <laughs> Remind us, pa. Sige. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just, I just, I was just there to dance, really. Just loved what I was doing and embracing every moment of it. And I didn't know that the show was really getting so famous that every Monday when I'd go to school, I'd see everyone just following the steps. I would say that their mom would scold them, that they couldn't, they couldn't stay up, but they'd sneak out and watch and then Everybody would just be doing the dance in school the next day. So it was really getting famous. And I didn't even care at that time. I, I didn't know how big it was getting. Which is part of the fun, I think, is none of us really knew how big it got, you know, because we were so, we just enjoyed being together and dancing, right? That that the popularity became like a, uh, like a plus to us. Yeah, it was funny because like many years later, I was in Virginia and in a party and this guy danced with me, swing. I said, wow, good more. where did you learn? He said, from you. From me. He's younger, huh? From me? From the show, Penthouse 7. That's how I learned. I used to do it with a door. <laughs> that's how they learned the swing. But, you know, that's when it hit me that, hey, you know, we had quite a, a lot of followers. Yeah. When did you know that you were popular? You know, there's there's one one day that you think, yeah, you know, people recognize me now, right? Because you go from from obscurity to to that kind of notoriety. Remember, I was already with another popular dance show before that. I was with Chito Feliciano, and uh, during that time, black and white TV. They were. It was the only the only entertainment uh, dance program. Then there was a uh, lull uh, from the martial law years, 1975, when the government sort of eased up on uh, television programming, allowing these uh, wholesome TV shows to go on the air. So uh, to me, it was just a continuation. Uh, I, I guess I had Loyal friends who kept on following uh, what and still I was doing do on the dance floor. It, it didn't affect me at all. Uh, I just, I just kept on being me, and that was all right.